Hi everyone, hope you're this is Coinskit. Just going to dive into Holo Chain Hot right now. Um, once again, thank you for your continued support across the channel. Really do appreciate everything that you do. Sharing is caring, and uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot for all the nice comments that we get. So diving into Hot right now, you can see that it's it's broke down, okay. But since it's had this correction and it's wicked down, it's this nasty little wick down there, and I'll sh I'll show you where that is in a moment, okay. Since it's come down there, it's, it's bounced up, and do you know how much it's bounced up? I'll tell you how much it's bounced up. A whopping 33%. So it's actually 33% up since it's since it's collapsed. That's that's brilliant. That just shows you the key level of support that it's got, right? It's not out of the woods yet. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not out of the woods yet. As you know, we're anticipating this falling wedge and break out to the upside. And obviously that's not come because Bitcoin, Bitcoin's corrected. And we do expect Bitcoin to carry out a further correction. So right now I want to show you where the base level of support is. The base level of support, as I've outlined in previous videos, is when you start to lose uh, support, okay, do target previous swing highs as support. And you can see right there, look, look at that, boom, previous swing high. It's rested right on it. So what a fantastic place to set bids. You know, come into your chart, draw these trend lines, previous swing high, because it's come down, it's wicked off it, and it's up 34%. It's currently up 32 percent off that off that support, and that's what happens when these things break down. You will see them bounce off support, and when the bounce, the golden opportunities to set long opportunities or actually accumulate more for the next leg up, because that's all it's doing. Okay, it's gone up so much, it's rolling over. It's back testing support. It's holding support. You can see the bounce there, and it's it's just basically back testing for continuation. The the RSI is basically in the floor, as we outlined yesterday. Look, it's in the floor. It's very oversold, and it can't continue to do that for much longer. To be honest with you, because the sellers run out of steam the selling runs out of power just like the buying runs out of power and reverses and then the selling takes over you know when the selling take runs out of steam the buying takes over and that's basically it so right now we need to see the macd get a little bit more healthier than that we need to start seeing the curls on the lines there so do anticipate that your histogram you can see it's kind of turning a little bit so perhaps it's picking up a little bit we would like to see this pick up a little bit more but again you're not out the woods yet because bitcoin is we are anticipating a further correction for bitcoin and, and, and as that continues then there will be more downside but as long as you're holding key level of support and i'll show you exactly where a main key level of support is in a bull market okay the most important key level of support in a bull market in an uptrend okay is the weekly time frame and it's this yellow line here and it's called the 20 ema if you start to see any of your projects that you're involved in lose that level then reevaluate your position in them projects not financial advice but do anticipate that once they start to lose this level of support because you can see how important this key level of support and you know what it's asking it's begging for a retest of that it's not quite had it yet it's just wick just above it do you see that so in my opinion you may see sort of holo look like it's recovering but it may roll over and start to come back down carrying out a further correction on bitcoin and you may see it come down and eventually eventually as this creeps up get that kiss and you know what golden what an opportunity that is in my opinion not financial advice but all your levels will start to reset this 55 will come up this will come up you get this back test of conf confirmation of support beautiful you've got the golden cross on the weekly time frame the big buy and go to the beach signal there for, from coins kid okay you sell and go to the beach is the the death cross when you get something like that on the ema's where the yellow line rolls over the price goes with it that's your sell and go to the beach signal okay right there off coins kit so just want to reassure you that if you're holding key levels of support and one of the last levels of support this is the absolute last level of support in a bull market is the yellow line okay the yellow line on the emas if you start to go under that then potentially you're going to drag down and lose the red line which is a 55 and then that is game over in my opinion on in a bull market that's the big big signal that we're entering the bear market as you can see once you do get below uh, uh, those particular EMAs look it just contributes because like when you're above you're above okay and you're back to some support beautiful 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 continuation continuation when you're below them you you back you hit the back testing as resistance continuation in a downtrend when you start to get above them that's when you need to think oh hang on a minute yeah we could be entering a bull market here and as soon as you get that signal boom off to the races so yeah that's that's hot basically yeah you're going to get caught between a rock and a hard place at the moment I, I do believe that possibly you know you, you may see it actually come down to this yellow line just like it because it's not actually done it it's not actually done it since you've got the bullish cross and the weekly look if you do look it's not actually touched that line it's not actually touched that line it had a little bolt up there a little kiss of it when the original bullish cross 
and you've not touched it and you know what in a bull market you want to see that touch and hold because that offers a fantastic opportunity to get involved in these projects uh, on the on the confirmation of, of them holding okay so no, again nothing to say is financial advice it's just what I see and it's just what my years of experience is telling me okay so that's basically hot holo I hope you enjoyed that update I'll have a look at the four hour and see if there's anything going on so on the four hour you've got this level of resistance right there which we've just spoken about just there okay so that's your current support line uh, if you do see it bounce down there which you have you see it's picking up okay do anticipate that it come back down and, and potentially bounce off that and just sort of get caught under the four hourly EMAs here for, for hot okay where it just come up as it said on this yellow line come back down and sort of get trapped just whilst Bitcoin sorts itself out okay unfortunately that's Bitcoin. Look how oversold you are on a four hourly time frame here. Really oversold and you're getting the pick up and bounce. I mean, if you start to see on that daily, golden, golden. OK, so that's hot. Do take care, everyone. I'll be back soon with another update. Bye bye.